Hey guys, this is Escalation 4 here, filming a new review. Yeah, with my new camera, you can see how amazing this quality is. I'm so happy with it right now. You have no clue how happy I am right now to have this camera. I spent a lot of money on it, but I think it's a really, really great investment, so I'm so happy about it. Alright guys, let's get started into this SH Figures Broly review. I know a lot of you guys have been asking. I know, I know. <laughs> um, but I finally got to reviewing it, and here we go. So let's start with the box. Alright, so we take a close look at the box here, at that color scheme. It's a red color scheme, as you can see here. You see Broly inside the box. This is SS Figure Arts Broly right there. We'll go down to look a little bit. Here we go. We see the figure right there, um, like his face on the side, you know, in like dotted form. Funimation. It says a Toei sticker, Bondi, Dragon Ball Z. And he looks freaking great in this box right here. So let's switch aside. Okay, so on this side of the box, we see another dotted form of the figure right there, so you can see that. Okay, so on this side of the box it says, SH Figure Arts, simple style and heroic action. You know, a little bit more about the figure on the back. Different poses you can put the Broly in. He looks awesome. Right there, more on the box. I love it. That's awesome, that Goku and Broly pose right there. And on this side, the figure again. We see Broly looks great all right that's really all there is to it with the box so let's open him up now da -dun -dun, da -dun -dun, broly Roar. all right guys so here's broly outside the box in the plastic he looks badass so first let's take a look at the figure itself and then we'll start switching up the pieces time to remove great broly ho 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 Broly, yes, Broly, ho ho ho, Broly. All right, guys, so here's Broly outside of the box, and he looks badass. You can't tell me he does not. He is massive compared to the other figure arts. Here's a six inch Goku of Impresto figure, and you can see how big he is. He's really, really tall. So I love how massive he is, though. It makes it even, it makes the figure even cooler. I freaking love it. So let's take a close look at the figure first. All right, so up here, we see a nice view of Broly's face. He looks pretty angry. We see the outline on his eyes. It looks really, really cool. I like that. I like how they added that touch. His yellow, greenish looking hair, which is amazing. I love how they added that green tint to it. We go down, we see his metallic necklace. I love it. We see his muscles bulging out right there with all the shading there which adds so much more to his muscles look how much his muscles are coming out they're like literally they're bulging out it's awesome i love that like it looks really cool and we see that on his arms there as well right there we move down and we see his awesome gold kind of belt around his waist with his cloth piece right there as well you see the blue shining and it looks spectacular we go down we see his on his waist wrap right there you see the red shading there as well to add more depth to the figure as well as well as on his pants you can see the blue shading they added over there as well and then of course his his uh, shoes you see the goldness Okay, on this side we see his spikes like protruding out from the back. It looks great. And then of course his muscles protruding out like that as well with the shading, which adds so much more to the figure. It gives it life, honestly. We keep panning down. It looks beautiful. On the back here as well we see his spikes out like that. The, his back right there. All oh, the shading that it adds so much life to that figure, like I said. His waist wrap right there. Looks beautiful. Of course, his pants and his shoes. Okay, so now that we took a close look at the figure, let's start switching up the parts, shall we? Okay, let's take a look at the faces first. So the first face we got here is... is like a smirk-looking face right there. So I like that face. It looks pretty cool. I really do like it. So looks like he's like 
just laughing how, at how weak you are. So let's try it on. Okay, and to take that off, we must remove his face that's already on, and then we get a faceless Broly. And we just kind of, with these pegs that you see right here, and these holes, just snap it on like so. You can remove this part of his hair as well, so you can make it easier to put his face on. And then just put this front part of his hair back on, snap it on, and there we go. We got the smirking Broly now, as we see right there. I like that face. I like that face. So now, let's change um, his hands, shall we? So we see here the other pair of hands that we're gonna put on, like open hands like this. Looks like he can like hold something with these hands. Alright, and to do that, we gotta take off these hands. So we pop them off like so. A little annoying to take off, so watch out. And then see the peg? We just pop it in right there. Now we got his open hand on that one. Then we do the same with the other one. And now he has like this menacing kind of like pose with those hands open like that. He's like, mo ho ho ha ha. All we need is his laughing face and then he he's like ready to fucking destroy. Now let's change to his other face. We see here his angry, angry face. And we're gonna switch it to that now. Okay, so now that we got his angry face on that looks uh, badass, let's change his hand. I'm only gonna change one of the hands because they're both practically the same thing, really. So I'm gonna change one of the hands and put them in like a certain pose. These are the other pair of hands and they're like just open hands like he's gonna do a key blast. So let's change it to this hand right now, right now. All right, so that's how he looks with that hand. Looks like he's gonna just fire at you, blast at you right there. I like that a lot. I like that pose a lot. He really looks like he's like, you know, not playing. Like he's really gonna just kill you right now. <laughs> I love that. It looks really awesome. Now that we got that, let me show you his articulation before I get into the other accessories. Okay guys, so this Broly has a lot of articulation. His head moves 360 like this, like so. His head also moves up and down. It has like a ball joint. He can go all around like this. And then his arms move outward all the way up, just like that. It's pretty cool. It goes outward like that, up, down. You can move this joint 360 as well, which is really a real nice touch. And then he moves 360 at this point of his arm right there, which is awesome. He bends at the elbow like that. That part does not move 360 though, it just bends. And then his wrist actually moves 360 too. Just like that. And then also goes backward and forward. You know, so you can move it all around like that. Same with the other arm, of course. His torso also moves like this. It has like a joint where it can move all around like that, which is really awesome. Of course, I feel like they had to put that joint up on him because he's like a really large figure so you know he has a bit more articulation than the other ones it can move side to side right here at the waist like this try not to pop it off though because he probably can pop that part off his bottom part right here with his legs it moves like side to side as well moves like that just like that and then there's also joints like on his it's like weird, like there's some articulation on his waist wrap part. Like this, like it can move upwards like that. It look like it's blowing, which is real cool. I like that. And you can also move it upward like that. That's an awesome touch. I did not think they were going to add something like that, you know. And then his leg moves outward and backward. Also, he bends at the knee here. And he has another joint right at this, this point of his knee as well. So he, he can move right there. And then his ankle moves 360. And it can kind of, it can kind of like swivel around like that. And then of course his toes kind of point up like that. That's another articulation point. That's his articulation. He has quite a lot. I do appreciate that they added, you know, some little points of articulation like on his uh, waist piece. So now that we got that, let me show you the other few things that he comes with as well. If you can see here, he comes with three energy balls. We're only gonna use one for this review, but basically all three of these have a little hole so you can plug it into the plastic stands that 
uh, roll that comes with. You'll probably also put one in his hand if you'd like so he can carry it right there. So he comes with two little like stand things and correct me if, you, if I'm wrong, I'm not sure. Mine only came with these two, I believe. I don't know, maybe I lost the other one. I don't really know, but mine only came with these, I think. Maybe it came with more. I don't know where they are right now. But basically, with this stand, you can put the green ball on it, right there, place it in there. And now, you can have a scene where Broly is just blasting away at you. I like to pose them in that that stands. And then the other plastic peg, I think you can, you know, remove this, put this on, and of course it's like a stand for a Broly so he won't be falling off. So yeah, that's that there. Looks freaking cool as hell. I love this Broly so, so, so much. And I like this really cool, like, green balls it comes with. Yeah, that's what she said. Alright, so now that we did all that, guys, let's see how tall he is. I got my measuring tape. And I'm gonna measure him now like this and it says he is about nine inches right about there if you can see that he's right about oh, nine inches nine inches for Broly pretty massive the other ones are much smaller so yeah I love it a negative thing I can say about the Broly probably that he's because he's so big he's kind of annoying to stand and he'll start kind of slipping over and stuff so that's why they give you a stand for it. Um, but other than that, badass as hell. I recommend it for sure. One of the best figure arts so far. I don't know. I'm one of the best at least, definitely. Not just because it's huge, but he... Well, that does help. But he looks so cool. I mean, what's not to love about it? Like, what is not to love about Broly? Like, he just looks so cool. But yeah, I got him for about 60 bucks. I forgot the store, but it was somewhere online. I got it for like 60 bucks. Uh, and I think it's worth the price. It's I was about to get it for 80 bucks. So that's it on this SH Figure Arts Broly review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're a Broly fan, get it. If you're a DBZ fan, get it. You need to buy this one. Do it. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this and I hope you really really like this uh, new video camera because I love it. I spent a lot of money on it. I wanted it so bad for my videos. So, okay guys, until my next video, peace.